uh, Hodgkin's lymphoma beyond primary treatment uh, essentially comes in two different groups of patients. So uh, the first is the one where I think most of the data uh, really comes from, and it looks at the patients that are uh, able to be treated more aggressively. And so in that setting, salvage therapy and autologous stem cell transplant continues to be a standard. Um, in that group of patients, we know with longer term data, historically about 50% of those patients were cured of Hodgkin's lymphoma. And with newer data integrating novel agents, that number appears to be slightly higher, though we don't have 10-year follow-up like we do uh, from historical transplant studies or from mature data sets. Uh, that being said, then, a minority of the patients in that approach will relapse post-transplant and may be uh, considered no longer curable and sort of fit into this category. Um, a, a minority of patients as well who were eligible for intensive therapy don't respond well enough to standard therapies uh, to be able to have a transplant. And so that represents a subset of that group of patients. And lastly, uh, an underrepresented group of patients for sure are the patients that are older uh, with Hodgkin's lymphoma or those who have other medical comorbidity. And so for those reasons, aren't eligible for transplant-based approaches. And so those have often been lumped together ultimately into this group of patients that uh, you know, one way or another may become refractory.